won't pay for next year's annual Marshall High Carnival. Thank you. I guess those 12 years of sorting mail at the post office finally paid off. I suppose I ought to have that looked into. Now you can't throw. You stink. You're an idiot. Ow! You're mean. Dad, do you want me a stuffed animal? Oh, I don't know, honey. It wouldn't be fair. After all, I was a professional ball player. Oh, yeah. Fifteen years in the minors. Even nitwit teachers get paid more than you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'm a nitwit teacher. <laughs> all right, Nitsky. You're on. Oh, nice throw, Beauchamp. Get you real proud of your old man, huh, Beauchamp? Yeah, that goes for you too, little Beauchamp. Little, tiny little Beauchamp Bo Peep. What happened to you? Oh, man. I shrunk myself down and took a spin in the cotton candy machine. Oh, look at me. I'm a French woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not going to cry, are you? Poor Dad. This is so embarrassing for him. I wish there was something we could do to help. Oh. Don't worry, I'll lose. I won't prevent your father from embarrassing himself. First, I need to be spinach. Very impressive. Even an Iraqi missile hits the target once in a while. Wow! Hey, Steve, did you see me throw? Looks like I got my arm back. Yeah, it's great, Dad. <laughs> oh, all in a day's work for Teen Angel. <laughs> well, I helped, too. <laughs> and his faithful sidekick, Stinky. <laughs> no, just once I'd like to be Teen Angel. Keep eating your Wheaties. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> hey, Dad, you'll never guess what happened. I think I got my pitching arm back. And I won lots of stuffed animals. <laughs> Woo, this one's flammable. Katie? I'm sorry I missed the carnival, but I was busy building a ship in a can. What do you think? Well, wouldn't it have made more sense to put it in a bottle? That way people could see it. A ship in a bottle? Yeah. That's kind of a screw. Hey! Good idea! <laughs> hey, Dad. I wish you could have seen me throw today. Every pitch I threw was right on target. I was just like the old days. Yeah, if I was a scout, I'd have signed you on the spot. You know, that's not a bad idea. What's not a bad idea? The Anaheim Angels always said that they were interested in me. I'm gonna try out. No, Dad, I didn't... Mean... There's no need to fear. Teen Angels here! Marty, your powers have just gotten me into big trouble. Let's not argue in front of the children. Now remember, if we get a divorce, it's not your fault. It's your mother Steve's fault. And yours, Purple Dragon. <laughs> I gotta stop my dad from calling the angels. <laughs> you dragged my battleship! Uh, doesn't matter. What's the difference? It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Oh, that's the can do spirit. <laughs> Something wrong? Next week, I'd have been married for 40 years to my. Dear dead Beatrice. <laughs> now she's not here to celebrate it with me. You really miss your wife, huh? Uh, we were soulmates. You met in prison? Not cellmates, soulmates. <laughs> met in Korea. It was one of those soldier nurse things. <laughs> Did you see that movie, An English Patient? Oh, yeah. Long, wasn't it? <laughs> no, I thought that was just... I'm sure Beatrice is up in heaven. <laughs> I can give you her best. Yeah. Hey, she's up in heaven, and you come from... You could bring her back for me. No. We, yeah. We cannot just bring back the dead at the drop of a hat. Oh, yeah, please. No. Oh, please. Okay, you wore me down. 
<laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm going to get to see Beatrice again. Okay. Oh, boy, I got to get rid of 30 pounds quick. <laughs> yeah, that ought to do it. Hi, Jerry. Oh, Beatrice. Oh, Beatrice, it's so good to see you. Look at you, you're as pretty as ever. And you're still just as sweet. Oh, oh. I, did I miss you? Oh, I missed you, too. And I missed you. Did you ever remarry? Nope. No. Did you ever uh, date? Nope. Did you ever look at another woman? Nope. <laughs> ever look at another man? <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Marty, my dad actually got a tryout with the angels tomorrow. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really good to see you. Hi, Stevie! Uh, Marty, is there any reason why my dead grandmother's here? Yeah, I asked you to bring her back and celebrate our, our 40th, uh, uh, when people get married for a long time, we, like a birthday. It's uh, when they, what do they call anniversary. it? Anniversary. Anniversary, celebrate our anniversary. Oh, you look at you. Will you look at her? Will you look at her? Look at me. Let's all look at each other. No, no. Wow. Anaheim Stadium, it's so big. Oh, son, you don't think I'm making a mistake, do you? You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm proud of you, Dad, no matter what. Thanks, Steve. But I gotta give this a shot. This is my last chance to make the show. Where have you been? I've been practicing my organ. <laughs> Can you play something else? Oh, sure. I'd now like to play a selection inspired by the Academy Award-winning movie, Shy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Steve, Steve, lovely Steve, Bosham, Bosham, oh, Bojangles, Bosham, Beckford, Bo Diddly, Diddly Squat, Squat Thrust, and look at you, oh, hug me again. Hey, Steve, this is Terry. He's the pitching coach of the Angels. Terry, this is my son, Steve. So, kid, you excited about seeing your dad try out? Yeah, of course, but I'd be proud of my dad. No matter what. Steve, you just said that to me a minute ago. Well, I know. And I'm still proud of you, no matter what. Well, I'm full of confidence now. <laughs> Come on, Beauchamp, let's go. All right. Man, I hope my dad doesn't make a fool of himself out there. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Next. At least this guy's wearing a helmet. <laughs> Too bad he wasn't wearing a cup. Uh, Casey. Uh, no, you don't have to say anything. Give him his arm back. What? I can't let him go out like this. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Try that again. No, no, like you just did. <laughs> Don't look at the plate. Don't look at the plate either. <laughs> I think your dad's gonna make the team. You hear that, man? He's gonna make the team! <laughs> Which means he'll be on the road all the time. And we'll hardly see him. Well, I gotta follow your dad to every game and make sure he pitches well. No, that means I won't be able to devote my full hands-on attention to your life. So long, Tonto. See you in Toronto. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. You're so thoughtless. I know I didn't want a hot dog, but you should have offered All right, all right. You, you want a root canal? <laughs> Why would I want a root canal? I don't know. I'm offering. <laughs> How come you guys are always fighting? Yeah, I thought you and Grandma were such a happy couple. We were, we were, but now that she's dead, all we do is fight. You got a lot of work to do. I gotta go help your dad. I gotta get you and Grandma to stop fighting. Oh, 
I gotta return that abominable snowman to Mount Everest. What? <laughs> Better take that one off the back burner. <laughs> Oh, I must have thrown 200 pitches today. Oh, I must have cast 200 spells. I know. I just cast a spell to fix my hand. Arr, matey, I... Better fix this before I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, man, I'm telling you, the old body just isn't what it used to be. And I guess that's why all the other players call me Pops. Although it's a lot better than my last nickname, Home Run Beauchamp. Isn't that a good thing? Not when you're the pitcher. Well, I hope you feel better by Saturday. You said you'd take me to the movies. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I can't. I got practice on Saturday. That's okay, Dad. Good night. Don't worry about Katie. I can take her to the movies. Yeah, but Pam, it's not just about the movies. I mean, here I just came back to the family and already I'm thinking about leaving. Casey, you do what you need to do, but the family's in good hands with me and Grandpa. I'll tell you, it is a known fact that Adolf Hitler was one of the original little rascals. <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, Pop, who are you talking to? Oh, your No, don't say mother. Mm, button. Why don't you get some sleep, Pop? Good night. I don't get it. How come you guys are still fighting? Honestly, Marty, I can't remember what I ever saw in this man. Because you met a handsome soldier with a big mop of curly blonde hair, and I was that soldier's nurse. Well, that's a start. Mm. There must have been plenty of good times. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of good times. There was this Italian restaurant we used to go to. It was so romantic, we'd go in there. What was the name of that restaurant? Antonio. Antonio's, and we'd go in, and the, and the owner would come over and treat us. To, what was his name? Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> he, he would come over, and we'd... We always ordered the special dish. It was a chicken dish. It was, what was that called? Chicken Antonio. Chicken Antonio. <laughs> Grandpa, he, listen to me. Those days can return again. <laughs> yeah? Oh, wasn't it nice of Marty to make us this romantic dinner? I just hope this place isn't too spendy. Oh, <laughs> mio. My car's a geo. Our bus boy Leo has a bad case of B.O. <laughs> All right. What can I get you? I think I'll try the fried mozzarella. No, no, no. You don't want it. Makes your bottom verbal. <laughs> oh, hey, please. Do not fight the mitratori, huh? Oh, everybody, go back to your meals. Except for you, purple dragon. You get out! <laughs> oh, I always wanted to go to Italy. Maybe we will someday. No, we won't. I'm dead. <laughs> will you stop throwing that in my face? You know, I've had my tragedies, too. Like what? My wife's dead. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Hey, don't say that. I just might look it up and find out what it means. <laughs> hey, I'm Leo. <laughs> you heard about my B.O., huh? <laughs> Eddie? Eddie? <laughs> what, what? what is it, Marty? Well, I brought Grandma Beauchamp back to see Grandpa. Now all they do is fight. Well, you'll have to let them find out for themselves what bonds them. And did you take care of that abominable snowman? Yep. He's not abominable anymore. He's just unpleasant. Good. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. I gave Steve's dad his pitching arm back, and now he's starting for the Angels on opening day. <laughs> oh, Marty, that is serious. I'm afraid you're going to have to take away his powers. I understand. I guess the Angels will just have to beat the Montgomery Devils on their own. Did you say Devils? I might have. Who's asking? <laughs> well, even though you're battling the forces of evil, I can't encourage you to cheat, but... I can look the other way. Now cough. <laughs> peanuts! Hey! Peanuts! Hey, 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 back off. 
All right, this is my territory. Relax, doofus. I want to buy some. <laughs> Mr. Nitsky, what are you doing here? I came to boo your father. <laughs> Oh, cool. A beach ball. Marty, it's me. Oh. oh, what a beautiful day. Nothing could spoil it. Today, the national anthem will be sung by TV's Urkel. Who could be responsible for this evil? <laughs> I might have known. My nemesis. Thought I was your nemesis. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you the devil? Actually, I'm the devil's cousin, Neville. I'll see you after my team wins, if you're not too embarrassed to show your head. <laughs> now we've got to win. I loathe him and his Harry Van Dyke. You talking to me? No. so nervous. This is my dad's big dream. Don't worry, I am on the case. <laughs> oh, one! Oops. Marty, you can't goof around. This means everything to my dad. I understand. Strike! Strike two! Strike three! You're out! Oh, bullshit! <laughs> Who did that? My wife, for Blade. <laughs> Top of the ninth with two outs. The Angels are leading one nothing. One more batter, my dad will have a shutout. We'll have to change his name from Home Run Beauchamp to not Home Run Beauchamp. Yay! Not Home Run Beauchamp. <laughs> it's all thanks to my magic fingers. Sal, you are cheating. I knew it. Well, I may have been helping Steve's dad a little. But I bet you've been cheating too? Well, my right fielder is actually Babe Ruth. <laughs> oh, you little devil. Ah, <laughs> oh, Eddie, he knows everything. Where have you been? I tried to sneak down to the field level, but they kicked me out. <laughs> so, you're helping your pitcher win. This isn't like you. You're right. I just haven't been the same since somebody got into heaven. Who? Mother Teresa? <laughs> no, you. Dad's about to pitch. No, Marty. Casey's going to have to do this on his own. Ah! And it's a stand-up triple. Next up is the devil's center fielder, Cy Cobb. Cy Cobb? Just a coincidence. <laughs> you pitched a great game, Case, but I think you're running out of gas. Yeah, maybe. No. This is my moment, man. You've got to give me one more shot, Terry. Okay. Go get him. You can do it, Casey! Beauchamp winds up. Here's the pitch. And it's a long fly ball. It's back, back, back. And this ball is caught by right fielder Roberto Demente. Roberto Demente? It's just a coincidence. Well, you may have won this round, but I still control professional boxing, hockey, the Dallas Cowboys, and Fuzzy Zeller. <laughs> That's our boy. Oh, and Jerry, he's got your joie de vie. <laughs> I don't think so. Doctors took that out three years ago. <laughs> That's why I love you. Why, because you're smarter than me? No. <laughs> Congratulations, Pocha. It's a great game. You were ragging on me the whole time. Oh, it was all in the spirit of good-natured ribbing. How about that dye Beauchamp dye banner you hung from the upper deck? Uh, well, I was uh, referring to your son. <laughs> well, Dad, you did it. 50,000 people cheering your name. Hey, this is just the start. Actually, Terry, it's the end. I'm retiring. <gasps> <gasps> Are you playing baseball again? 
Son, I wasn't around much when you were growing up. And I don't want to do that to you guys again. Besides, I have this strange feeling that heaven gave me one great game. And this was it. <laughs> well, I'm proud of you, Dad. No matter what. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I almost forgot. I had the angels autograph this ball for you. <laughs> Sorry. Good to have you back, Dad. <laughs> well, Jerry. Oh, it was a great game. We raised a good kid. Care to go for two? <laughs> you know I gotta go back up there. Oh, B, do you have to go back so soon? Oh, don't worry, Jerry. We'll be together one day. Oh, sweetheart, it was so nice to see you. Thank you for taking care of the family. This is the final boarding call for Angel Airways Flight 1 to Heaven with continuing service to Limbo. <laughs> Only two pieces of emotional baggage per passenger. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sweetheart. So long, B. Dad, next time you can just hand me the ball? <laughs>